Welcome, everybody. We have just discovered a new herb, Shatavari, that kills Candida more effectively than the main antibiotic used for killing Candida called fluconazole. Check out this clinical study right here. Okay, so PubMed is the website where all the clinical studies are housed. My image is in the right spot. Okay. Anti-candidal activity of asparagus racemosus, which is also known as a fancy name for saying Shatavari. And it shows here that this the anti-candidal activity of this herb in all strains of candida, including albicons, tropicalis, all these different ones, which were isolated from vaginal thrush patients. The extract of, of Shatavari showed high degree of ant activity against all the candida strains. The, in the inhibitory effects of the extract against all the candida tested was found comparable with all the standard antibiotics used. That's, that's fluconazole. This is, so let's take a look here real quick. This is the main clinical study of all of this, and it shows fluconazole right here. Here is a chart showing the differences. So the methanol extract is the Shatavari, and fluconazole is right here. And you'll notice that here's all the different strains. And the, the anti-candidal anti activity, the numbers were just like one less, one or two less on all the strains versus to fluconazole. But the crazy thing about this is, if you look to the right here, MIC is um, the methanol extract, the Shatavari, and the MFC is the fluconazole. And this shows the amounts that were used. And in each one of these instances, only half the amount of Shatavari was used compared to the main antibiotic fluconazole used for Candida. So if we were to use the same amounts, you would assume that these numbers would go, would beat fluconazole by a huge amount. This is absolutely great news because not only do antibiotics kill the bad stuff, the Candida, but it also kills our good bacteria. And in the long run, this can create a breeding ground for candida in our system. There's actually something called the vicious cycle that shows this, which I'll show you in a moment. But we also want to avoid these types of antibiotics whenever possible because they're starting to come out with candida strains that are antibiotic resistant. It's almost like mutations are happening. And whenever we use these antibiotics, it actually contributes to the spread of these drug resistant strains. So real quickly here, Here's the vicious cycle that I'm talking about. Generally, um, antibiotics are used when there's infection, wipes out the friendly bacteria, candida comes into play, they produce toxins, it weakens the immune system, and then here's the infection, then use the antibiotics again. So this is a miracle because we literally have an, er have an herb that works better than the main antibiotic fluconazole used for candida. And the only side effects this has is positive side effects. Our Shatavari and all of our Ayurvedic herbs are produced in such a way to provide pharmaceutical strength. Now, of course, just as important or even more important is to make sure we handle our dietary lifestyle to combat candida. For example, if you're eating refined sugars and processed starches on an ongoing basis, to get rid of candida, we want to lower these things or eliminate them completely if possible. And if you're considering using our Shatavari for um, d killing candida in your system, then you might also want to take ashwagandha alongside it in conjunction with it because they work together in a really good way. Candida has been shown to um, be caused also by stress and ashwagandha in clinical studies has been shown to lower cortisol levels, which is a stress hormone. Also, in the clinical study over here that I'm about to show you, candida has also been shown to decrease thyroid function in some cases. And in the clinical study here, thyroxine levels were increased and they came to the conclusion that ashwagandha may also represent a clinical opportunity for the treatment of subclinical hypothyroidism. Both of our Shatavari and ashwagandha are available at therawfoodworld.com and you can always use the coupon code RAWFOOD7 for 7% off. All right, thank you for tuning in. This is Matt Monarch, and we'll be bringing you more stuff at therawfoodworld.com.